A beautiful sunrise shot, but it's a fake. I was playing around with an AI image generator one day called Midjourney. And I realised that the quality of output you could get from those was as good as what I could take with a camera. Early in 2023, AI presented photographer Jamie Van Leeuwen with a picture-perfect opportunity. And I thought, OK, people need to realise how powerful the potential of this stuff is. So I thought, what's the best way to, to do that, to bring this to light? And I thought, let's, let's shock people. His AI creation was then entered into a photography contest. This photo won. And it was the first photo AI image to win a photography contest. And then the criticism, the backlash started rolling in. The hate. The hate. Because people were scared, and, and understandably. I mean, if someone's sitting at home, miles away from a beach, can just put in, you know, beach shot award winner in a minute, two minutes, and create something that is as good as a real image, it is scary to think about. AI created it by taking an infinite number of pixels from an infinite number of photos that were found online. Jamie called the image the most stolen photograph. This is actually a dangerous point in society where we don't know what is real and what is fake. A hundred percent. I mean, I came clean straight away. I gave the cash prize back. I said, look, guys, this was an AI image. Uh, and I did it more so, the experiment was more so to show people what we are capable of now. So people can start to wrestle with these big ideas, the huge ideas, you know, of trust, of can we believe what we're seeing? People say, am I afraid of AI? I say, I'm not afraid of AI, I'm, I'm afraid of HS. And they say, well, you know, what's HS? HS is human stupidity. It's the dumb things people will do with powerful tools. So we do need rules, we do need regulations, we do need a framework around these kind of technologies. Now is the time to be doing that because I don't actually think we're at a dangerous point yet. Thank you very much. These are uncertain times in the world of AI, a technology that we've long taken for granted is now evolving at breakneck speed, and it's only going to accelerate, leaving most to agree we must step carefully. It's all the real thing. Even technologists are saying you've got to have a circuit breaker with automated decision making. If it's not working in the way that it's supposed to, to be able to intervene in the software and stop that and reset it. A kill switch, they need yeah. to kill switch. Effectively, so, you know, that, that type of thing's been, being thought through. If all of this seems too much, perhaps the solution is simply to turn the machines off. Often I, I get people asking me, oh, but, but it must have an off switch. No, it doesn't, okay? Uh, if, you know, AI in itself is self-replicating, it's distributed everywhere, and our economies are dependent on it already. The, the challenge that's facing humanity in the age of the rise of artificial intelligence is not the machines. The challenge that's facing humanity is humans and how they are instructing AI to serve us. Well, let me introduce to you The Labyrinth of Destiny. The Labyrinth of Destiny. This is my next book, is it? And as for Geoffrey Archer's latest book, written by AI, the good Lord was given a sneak peek. The lamplight danced upon the aged parchment, casting ethereal shadows across the room. No, that's not me, that's someone else. I, wouldn't, I don't even want to correct that. As if the secrets contained were eager to break three. Oh, come on. As if the secrets were, being, were able to break three. Write like your own bloody robot piece. Well, this cheers me up immensely. They cannot write my work for me. Now, you, being a wicked person, might well print it up and put my name on it and make a fortune, but no, those are not my words. What's next on your disgraceful agenda? I'm adding something to your list of weaknesses, arrogant. <laughs> not humour. There's a subtle difference, young man.